Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Marketing Minute with Ronald Kuman. Today we are on tip number six of 10 content tip marketing tips. <laughs> a lot of tips in there for 2021. What I wanted to do is I wanted to create a series of 10 tips. This is the 10 tips for content marketing, but I also have a series of 10 tips for SEO, for um, video marketing, for um, social media, and a host of others. But what I want to do is just give one tip, one part of this tip a day so people can get bite size and, and digest it. And who has 40 minutes to an hour to sit to a long presentation? Although you can, all these videos will be up on YouTube. So I figure giving it to you in this way, you can just take look at the title, see if that is something that uh, interests you at this point, instead of having to listen to uh, an hour long seminar. And maybe the only thing that resonates with you is at you know minute 25 and minute 42, right? So uh, this is a time saver. Uh, it also uh, increases my content from 11 pieces to 33 pieces uh, for the same work. So uh, it's a great way of generating content and, and links and all that other stuff. Uh, that we can talk about at another time. But uh, today we're going to talk about 10 content tips for 2021. Tip six, which is the user experience will be the differentiator in marketing in, in 2021. Well, when creating content, uh, uh, SEO, content my, uh, writers, content uh, people, marketers, uh, they have focused, you know, they have focused on creating the content, but they've also focused heavily on understanding that the search engines deliver that content so they cater more towards the search engines right they did to you know put in the keywords in there making sure the title tags the header tags all this other stuff is done but google is more concerned with the, i mean those things are important but Google is more uh, concerned with the user experience, right? Uh, Google's customers and clients are not you and I, the person who is putting information out and hopes to help people and then generate a relationship and possibly uh, uh, some clientele, right? Their uh, clients are people who are using the search engines to get a need met, to get uh, an answer to a question, right? So they're concerned with their users, they're concerned with their customers, right? So the first thing you need to do when you're creating your uh, SEO, when you're creating any content, uh, especially any type of SEO content, you want to take into account the user experience and user experience is is, is several different things but it can be you know like uh, the design it can be how quick your site loads it, you know can be the graphics it can be a whole bunch of different things uh, but the best information will still be given uh, priority but if that information is just as in-depth and uh, presented better somewhere else. Expect that somewhere else to actually get pulled up in the feed. So uh, what I wanted to convey to you today is user experience. You still have to consider when you're making your content, whatever your content is for your subject matter, your service, product, or solution, you always have to understand that the search engines decide who's going to see what. So you gotta, you have to understand that. But focus more on the user experience and provide good quality, in-depth um, pieces of content. And over time, you're going to prevail. Okay, so uh, in below, I put a description to because I've ad lived a lot here, but actual description of tip six will be below in the, in the description of this video. Also, will be a link for a consultation with me if you want a free consultation, and also some free uh, PDFs that you can go on and, and you know it'll help you do your on page SEO, grow your Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. You know how to create them, set them up, uh, grow them. YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, on-page SEO, Facebook groups, uh, Google My Business. There's a whole host of, of PDFs, step-by-step -step guides that we put together. And collectively, it will help you create a, an amazing online presence. And if you need help with this, whether it's your content marketing or uh, getting a website designed or redesigned, getting some SEO, getting more traffic. I mean, at the end of the day, you can have the best product, service, or solution out there. If people can't find you, 
when they're looking for that product, service, or solution, and they're typing, that's what they're typing in. They're not typing in your name. They're not typing in your company's name. If they know you exist, they're calling you, right? When somebody's going to Google, there's two things that you need to know. One, it's their intention. Their intention is to buy. Their intention is to seek uh, actual information. Their intention is to get some something solved. That's why they're going there. They want information. They want to see something. It's actual, uh, action. it's intent, right? And uh, the other thing is if they can't see you, they can't, uh, they can't even consider you, never mind hire you. And, and now compare that to social media. People are flipping through, getting caught up on their family, their friends, uh, seeing some you know nice pictures from somebody who's on vacation or something. And all of a sudden, a sponsored ad pops up. It's disruptive. You know, they're in their own groove, right? They're looking at their own thing. And then, you know, somebody's, you know, trying to sell them something, right? It, but it pops up. And then you have to pop up. You have to disrupt whatever they're doing. They have to see that disrupt. You have to have a strong enough hook to get them to go bang, click, more, learn more. And then that story, you know, hook story offer, uh, you know, the, the story has to be compelling enough. But you literally, it's disruptive. You know, you have to disrupt them. Whereas on the search engines, people are going there for that specific person uh, purpose right so if you're not on the search engines another thing i read uh, a couple not too long ago maybe 18 months ago was that 88 cents of every dollar spent 89 cents of every dollar spent online was spent through the search engines 11 cents of every dollar spent online was spent through social media combined all the platforms all the lotions the potions the courses the programs make you you know a, a millionaire before the month's over buy my seven dollar course right and uh so all those combined make up 11 cents of every dollar spent online so i'm not saying don't do social media i'm doing social media right now but i'm streaming to multiple platforms and this will be taken down it'll be put up on my website that link will then be shared to 11 more platforms two weeks from today this particular episode uh and uh, but it'll also be all keyword and there's a whole bunch of other things that go on in the background but my goal is to really get it up on the search engines right and um it's also being streamed live right now on youtube so uh um, anyhow so uh, think about when your tip six is definitely when you're creating your content you're going to you you have to understand that the search engines actually deliver your content so you have to have that in mind but if you focus on delivering a good user experience providing quality in-depth information clear concise um you know uh, that's what you need to do and, and you will you will prevail better uh, than other people who aren't doing that and again if you need any help with any of these issues or any of your online marketing how to get in front of your audience how to have them see you consider you and oftentimes we don't even charge you until after you get the results that we offer my name is Ron Cooming. My company's name is RCS Online Solutions. You can contact me at Ron at RCS Online Solutions and, and just a free consultation. We'll see where you're at, uh, where you want to go, if we can help you with it. Or we have a whole bunch of free PDFs that you can use as a step-by-step -step guide for yourself. Okay. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if uh, you need anything, like I said, just reach out. Have a great day. Bye for now.